Hello Tutors, it's Gav and welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, today, sorry for the shaky cam by the way, I'm literally holding the tripod on the edge of the, the desk. Uh, yeah, we, we've, we've finally got to the end of this 28mm uh, uh, commission. As always with my painting, it's taken forever. But the, cut, the client's been very patient and I do, do thank him for that. Uh, we're looking at uh, 15th light uh, infantry. The uh, one of the one of the uh, kind people that left a comment uh, on probably the last video said that uh, his research showed that these guys here, the chasseurs, and that had a, a red half uh, red crescent on the top of the epaulets. Uh, I spoke to my my good friend Eric. Uh, and we came to, well, obviously he's he's the main researcher that I go to, and he said yes, they they might have or they could have, but uh, obviously the artwork that uh, he provided and and his look, take on it was that uh, they would be okay with the green, so we've we've left the green. But I I do thank that uh, person for you know they weren't they weren't being a, a tire kicker, an anorak, a rivet count or any of those things they would just give me the benefit of their research but uh, we have decided to keep them green the uh, colours are GMB the, the bases are war bases, uh, tufts have been made by me uh, sometimes I put, let's see if we can get in a bit closer sometimes I, I put a tufts down first and then put some of the smaller static grass in this case, I wanted to show that they were going through really, you know, clumpy. Uh, I don't know if you call it moorland or whatever you want to you want to call it, really. But so I've done about five or six different tufts of of light and dark, uh, light greens, you know, pale greens, uh, browns and oranges in there. Uh, I think it's worked quite well. Uh, it's uh, it's been a great commission to work on. Uh, lots of lace as always, <laughs> piping I should say. Um, and as I say, the fifteenth with their red red musicians. Only the two of them, but they they've come up well. Uh, all this was painted with a, a non-metallic style. As I say, it's in no way am I claiming it to be some. Uh, you know, great way of, that I do of doing non-metallic is you know compared to a lot of like the, the the people that throw a lot of time at a particular figure, they can do a heck of a lot better than I can. Uh, but I'm trying to replicate it in a in a like a regimental battalion f uh, form, and it's a you know it's you've you've there's some give and take in the style as I call it. But no, I I've uh, really really enjoyed doing those. As I say, I'm not the quickest painter in the world, uh, but uh, they've come up well, and it's not very often I get a chance to base. I mean, the next two, two at least two commissions I've got, uh, the, the the clients themselves will be basing them, so it'll be back to bottle tops. <laughs> but uh, but on this one, I've managed to to throw everything at it. The grass itself uh, was on the whole that. Uh, from is it Luke Luke's at, apps something like that. Uh, the, the, it's only in that the, I haven't used like pre-made tufts or anything. It's just that his different types of grass, and I've, I've I must admit, you know, I'm always skeptical uh, with with this this type of grass, static grass, because uh, a lot of it I've bought off eBay, and that it, it doesn't even pick up half the the strands, you know, whatever they make them out of. Uh, but these were the you know the exact colours I wanted, and it all picked up well. So um, you know I could have actually done. They were out obviously with this COVID and everything. They were out of the very dark green. I would have liked some dark green as well. But uh, no, I could recommend that. That was that was that was good static grass to to be able to make tufts out of. So guys, there we go. We have our old guard. We have our 15th Light Infantry with their skirmishes out in front. Uh, the commission I'm working on at the moment, which uh, I've got the first six horses painted and their tack. Uh, 
that is uh, Scott's Grey, he's also 28mm and also I should have said the figures by the way were front rank, you probably noticed that anyway if you've seen any of my videos. Uh, but the, the Scots Greys I'm painting for Mick, as I say, six six horses are done, uh, the tack's done, and um, you know they're well on their way, uh, but they will be on bottle tops. I'm not sure they charged at Waterloo with bottle tops or in the Crimea, but... Uh... Right guys, I'm waffling again, as always. Wouldn't be a gab video if we didn't. So thank you very much for taking the time to view this video. It's always appreciated. And we'll catch each other very soon on another one. Cheers.